Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about the consumables and the internal components of the gun on a Hyperthermal Power Max 45. This is what it looks like when it's completely put together. And as you can see, we have a guy drag tip on there. And if you can see down in there, that nozzle has started to wear a little bit. That nozzle, the hole is not clean. It's kind of jagged. That's going to start affecting our cut. Okay. So to disassemble this, we're just going to unscrew this. And you have a certain components that fall out in here that we're going to talk about. Okay. Okay. All right, so it breaks down like this. Looks something like this, okay? And we're gonna talk about each one of these, okay? This is your gas swirl ring. This is your electrode. This is the nozzle. This is the retaining cup. Some people will call it a retaining cap. And down here on the end is our shield, and this is a drag shield. There's also a fine cut shield it doesn't have this on it and it changes the nozzle also when you're doing that. Okay, starting up here at the top, this is our gun down in here. That's where your, your gas and your uh, electrical current is provided to the electrode through here. Okay, the gas swirls down through here and you see these holes? See these holes are machined at an angle and it kind of facilitates that twisting or that tornado effect of the compressed air to go around this. This also, these new, these new tips got a little spring loaded on the back. Some of your older hypertherms don't have that. Uh, I think the 45, 60 and uh, use these spring loaded ones on the back. This threaded thing here fits tight against uh, the gas, the gas shield. And it's also like a screw pin style to help again, facilitate that twisting of air going around the end here. Notice on the end of the electrode, it's it's got a little bit of a pitting. They say anything recessed in a sixteenth of an inch is is um is grounds for replacing that electrode. However, this to me is is close enough. I'm getting ready to replace this. All right. Next would be our nozzle. This is the nozzle. This is the part that usually sees the most wear here. As you can see there, it's supposed to be nice and flat. It started to wall of the hole out. It's a little bit crooked, and this will start affecting your cut. Can you see down in there? All right. And lastly, all that's contained on the inside of the shield. I'm sorry, inside of the retaining, retaining cup. All right. And lastly is our shield, our drag shield. These little three notches on the end actually allow the gun to be close, but the electrode not to actually touch the base metal and it drags around like this. All right, so assembly of these is your drag tip goes on the outside here, it screws on. You can't put that anywhere else. That's kind of, you can't mess that up. And I want you to uh, realize too that when you replace a nozzle or you replace an electrode, you replace them both at the same time, even if it's one is okay. You, you, you change both of these at one time. They, they're kind of like changing a pair. Now, the way this fits is the electrode goes inside of the gas swirl ring. Goes up to about right here, okay? And your nozzle goes over that and it fits, kind of locks down into that recess area there. Kind of fits, it does. It's not gonna move when it gets down in there, okay? And then all of these components slide down into your retaining cup. And it looks like that. I like to give them a little tap to make sure they're seated in. Okay, when you go to put this in, make check this O-ring, make sure that it's not broken. It's got a little bit of grease on it, make sure there's no foreign matter, dirt, spiders, cobwebs down in there. Okay, and it will screw on there. I want you to pay special attention to detail to this, this silver pin there. Hypertherm has got this where if that this is not pushed on there all the way and it doesn't activate that switch, the machine won't come on. Okay, just hand tight, hand tight, snug everything. And you can see down in there again, the hole on your nozzle, a little bit, little bit crooked. These holes on the outside of the shield are actually the cooling gas. Okay, that's different than your plasma gas. All right. And that's it, that's it. 
That's how you change the consumables on a Hypertherm Powermax 45 XP. I will list all these part numbers in the link below in the description below. So if you need to get one, you can. And um, stay tuned to D2L for any quizzes that follow.